Hello, I'm Paul Goodman, the writer of the Jericho Street Tales. And today, I'm going to be painting the backdrop behind me of the forest scene. In other words, I'll be making a scene. Now come along and watch. Let's see how long it takes. <laughs> Hopefully it won't take too long. What I have done is taken colored chalk to outline some of the objects on the scene. That way I can tear them apart rather than just doing all one color. Give you somewhat of the idea what I have done so far. Sorry about the poor lighting. But as I paint, it'll be more easier to see. First, I'll use a light green for the grass. John, the house manager, suggested that I use a small paint roller to do the area rather than the brush. He said it'll go a lot faster, so I'm taking his word for it. And I need all the speed I can get. I had two more to do after this one. Drop cloth here just in case I <laughs> spill. You know, I've been told that they're going to paint the stage floor black for the show. You do try to make some considerations, being nice and all. I want to show you the doing the whole thing just to give you the gist of it, and I'll go in later and do the finer points with a brush. The roller worked pretty well. Might take two coats, but going quick enough. There, made all the way through the end. Not bad for a rough job. No, this is not my lunch. I think I'll wait for the first coat of grass to get dry. I'll paint some of the clouds. I'm doing this start with thing at the palette. Well, I tell you what, this glue on is dry. Sucking out the paint like anything, but it'll go well. Stay tuned. Well, now that I have the grass done, I'll now do the background trees and also the sky using the roller.
I now have grass, the background trees, and the sky done. Next I'll be doing the leaves of the trees and the bushes. To get the various colors of greens on the different trees, I'll be mixing the grass and the background of trees colors together. And so you're using different proportions on each. Making sure that the proportions are hefty enough to cover the area needed. There, see how that goes. Take the stir stick, mix it around. There, I think that's a good base color to start out with. So here we go. Let's start with this tree first and go out to here. On second thought, rather than going to the tree next to it with a different shade, I'll keep the same green that I have here and go throughout the entire backdrop on different trees. Well, I'm waiting for the green on the trees to dry up a little bit. I'll be taking this emerald green and painting these trees here. I'll be painting this one and also this one. This one I'll do a different color. While I'm waiting for the first coat of the trees to dry, I'll just do the bushes. Now that I have the light part of the trees done, I'll go back with a little darker green and mix it up. Do some of the trees and also some of the bushes. And hopefully, you can tug to a bird. Setting the darker one behind the, the lighter one. I have to go a bit darker with it. The trick is so it's dark enough so that it separates from that, but also light enough that it separates from the background trees. Luckily all this needs to get two coats. I now have the leaves on the trees pretty much the way I want them. However, the bushes seem to be a bit lost, so I'm going to play a little bit of Dr. Seuss 
and see if we can spruce them up with a little bit of color. This is otherwise known as a bit of artistic license. Try out a different color. And throw in a rock. Well, not actually throw, but paint it. Now, some color of the bark I do like on the trees, and some color I don't. I think when this one over there is okay. However, I think this one is trying to battle against it. So, I'm going to try to paint it a different color and see what happens. And the same goes for over here. I think I'll hit this one with the gray and this one with the brown. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this part over again. The brown was too dark and it almost blended too much into the black. So, I'll be using a different color and hopefully it can separate the two. Instead of gray like I did here, I'll be using this purplish blue. Let's see if it works. Now, I had the color pretty much the way I wanted. However, I'm not too pleased with this color here. So, I'll do it a nice pink. Again, a little artistic license. Now that I have the colors like I want them, I'll go back and touch up a little bit what I missed. And also, a second coat is so some of the things that are shown through. Okay, I now I have the colors the way I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is take this black and touch up some of the black outlines. Now you may have been wondering throughout painting this whole scene why I kept the style of having a black outline on everything. I wanted to make this scene look like a storybook. A coloring book, as you may. Keeping it whimsical and funny. So, let's get at it. And now I have the background completed. And thank you for watching this video. Take care and God bless.